everybody welcome back to spivey talks of course i am still your host spivey and i am here at the house uh waiting for a friend to get off work so we can go run an errand or two um but that won't be till later tonight what i wanted to talk to you about right now um is friends okay <laughs> um i have a friend uh we used to have a little joke where we would play the uh the song for, you know um by Houdini, Friends. How many of us have them? You know, old song. Uh, some of you may never have heard it. Anyway, uh, but it really brought to me a concept, and I wanted to express it, and I wanted to, to find out what other people feel on the same topic. A lot of people break their neck and spend a lot of time trying to do things for others that they consider friends. And then when something horrible happens or unfortunate on their side and they turn to those people that they thought were friends, they find out that they're not friends. And it's heartbreaking when it happens and hopefully none of you ever have to experience it. And those of you who already have experienced it, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, I know I personally spent many, many, many years breaking my back, helping a large number of people. Um, now, to that end, a lot of friends, actual friends, helped me out when I needed help. Um, so I can't say like it's not one it, that it doesn't exist. Okay, uh, but I have realized in the past few years that I actually have roughly fifteen friends, and that's a massive number. Fifteen friends from traveling across America and overseas. You know, I've lived in G Germany. I've lived um, Texas, Chicago, which is where I'm from, uh, Georgia, Florida, you know, and, you know, stops in between. During all of this travel in different cities, mind you, inside of these states too, in some states anyway, um, I've realized looking back how many of those people were actually friends when I needed them or could count on them or that we spent good quality time together. Not just we were there at a particular event. So we just, you know, we were friendly to each other. That's not the same thing as being friends. Um, I have changed my viewpoint over the years of what I personally consider to be a friend. Um, there's qualifications, if you will, for a friend, in my opinion, my new breakdown um, was and has been for the last few years, first and foremost, somebody who's been to my house. If you haven't been to my house and I've been to your house, I don't consider us to be friends. Um, I consider us to be associates, maybe on the road to friends, but we're not quite there yet. Why? Because you haven't been to my house and I haven't been to yours. Um, if we... I mean, we could be very close. Like, you could have been to mine, and i just never been to yours. But that's a level of trust and, and bonding that, you know, in my opinion, helps construe what a friend is. Um, if, for example, I don't trust leaving you in my house for a couple of hours without worrying if you took something or went through my stuff, you're not a friend. And I would imagine vice versa. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> Um, but now, mind you, I want to make sure you understand the difference in that. I have actually taken in people I met on the same day to live with me, um, to give them a place to stay a roof over their head. Didn't know them prior to a couple of hours before this. Um, and But I mean, in that kind of situation, when I get up and go, you got to get up and go. You know, when I come back, you can come back. But I mean, because I don't know you like that, I can't just trust you in that kind of capacity. So. And then we, you know, we worked our way to becoming friends. So that is an exception. Um, if there is impossible for me to go to your place, then we can still be friends without that being the situation. Um, <laughs> and that's that's a really big one. And if you stop and really think about it, think back to how many people have been to your place and you've been to their place. And then how many of those people would you trust in your house to have not stolen something or gone through your stuff? That that would number that number of friends that you think you have would drop tremendously, I believe, in most cases. Um, a friend is someone who, if they ask you what's going on, you will tell them the truth. You don't have to hide your what's going on in your life, and they wouldn't hide what's going on from their life from you. Um, but again, that can be slightly varied based on 
that particular person. You know, there are circles, if you will. My one of my friends, my brother, he he says that he has people in circles, um, and he doesn't intermingle certain circles together because that's not what they're there for. So, and I totally understand that. Um, like I have fraternity brothers um, for different organizations, and even though they're brothers and I love them, um, they're not people I bring into certain situations or would invite over for a certain event based on who else is already there. So I can understand that separation. Um, If I couldn't leave my son with you, we're probably not friends. (laughs) And I mean, like for me to go and make, you know, to an interview or, or handle an assignment, you know, my son, he's just now two. Um, I actually haven't seen him physically seen him in almost a year come a few weeks from now uh you know just after mother's day will be a year um i got to video chat with him once and that was a few weeks ago but that's not the point that's not the point of this video this is about friends um if my friends and mind you mind you i can i can very easily cut um an easy qualification for my friends. All of my friends, all of my actual friends are anime fans and or gamers. If they're not am- uh, gamers or anime fans, they're not my friends. <laughs> and I'll even throw in K-drama into that category. But I have very few friends that are into K-drama. So, yeah. that For me, that's my personal truth on friendships. Those are my qualifications. Um, because a friend is somebody you share bonds with and connection with that goes deeper than just being at the same event or hanging out looking at something that is superficial and doesn't mean anything. Anime, K-drama, TV shows, excuse me, these things mean a lot to me, and I know they mean a lot to my friends because that's part of what made us friends. We had a whole um, two or three houses at FAMU for a while that was filled with nothing but anime fans. Anime from the FAMU Anime Club. All of us who lived in these two locations, two, three locations, were the anime club. That bonded us in such a level that we literally got houses together. And some of them was right around the corner or right down the street from each other. So that is a very, very big bond. People don't understand that. But I'll even probably post some pictures or something uh, showing what I mean about how big we were and how, how serious it can be. Uh, well, my lunch is ready. I know it's six o'clock at night, but I'm on my own schedule. So, um, until next time I'll be back and I want y'all to think about your friends.